you guys welcome back. If you're new, welcome. And uh, we are on part three now, part three. But here's the thing, I just have like the immediate, like in front of me of the desk and then my palettes. So tonight we're going through the palettes and seeing what I'm gonna keep, what I'm gonna throw away, what I'm gonna see if anybody at work wants. Cause like some of them have been asking me about makeup here lately. So I'm like, maybe they'll want some of these, but like if it's expired or it wasn't a good formula, I'm not giving it away, I'm throwing it away. So we'll see. Um, okay, first up we have the Saharan by Juvia's Place. I I don't remember when I bought this, so I think it's probably over a year old. And I also don't remember how I felt about it, so. Let's, uh, okay. It's got a two year, so I think it might actually still be good. I'll see if anybody wants that, and if not, I'll throw it away, because I'm not sure if it's okay or not. Um, Spell Bound Beauty. I was so obsessed with this brand. Our eyeshadow formula was so good. Like, oh, that glitter had my whole heart. Um, they closed down though during COVID and never came back. And I don't really know what was going on with that. So um, I know this is over a year old. I'm gonna have to get rid of that. Uh, Moonspell Volume 2. I think this launched just last year, didn't it? I might keep this. All those purples. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um, Manny MUA has been liking James Charles' posts. And, like, I don't really know if I want to support him now. Because <laughs> I'm like, if you can support that, but, like, talk crap about him on your podcast because you know everyone's against him, but you're still liking his posts. It's just a little shady and a little two-faced, and I'm not okay with that kind of behavior. So I'm like... I don't know if I want those or not. But the purples. <laughs> I have purple palettes. You know what? Okay. I think this is still good. I'm going to see if anybody else wants it at work. And if not, I might see if I can donate it or something. Because I am i don't want to let it go because the purples. I, if you notice my face is a little flush, I was already doing a little decluttering off camera. Just so I could get it down to this. Because... <laughs> This is like my main goal is to get everything packed up tonight and get it down there because I want to be able to set up filming soon. Um, I got a gloss that I just bought like a few months ago. My cheeky threesome blushes are definitely staying. Hello. I was obsessed with these. Still am. They're great formula. Oh, oh, the Leora Beyond Words palette. This was actually a really cute palette. I just don't use it very often, so I may see if anybody at work wants it, because it's still good. I just don't really use it that often. Okay, BH Sweet Shops. I'm keeping all of these. So good. I love this formula. And like, ugh, these colors, hello. Glam Light Cake Palette. Oh, back when the formula was actually good, you guys. Oh, do I want to keep this? I feel like I do. I feel like I want to keep this. I loved this. This one and the uh, the ice cream one were my favorite palettes. They still kind of are. Okay, what next? Uh, Sodium Fine Makeup Scientist. I remember doing a video on this, and I think that's literally the only time I ever used this. And I think that was like two years ago. We're gonna throw this away. Okay, uh... What's this? Oh, Bella Beauty Bar. Metamorphosis. Uh, a lot of these are duochromes, and I think I just got this like a year ago. I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to that one. Sweet Shop. Orange Sorbet. Keeping that. Keeping all the Sweet Shops. Uh, Nomad. Lake Como palette. Definitely keeping all of my Nomads. Obsessed with Nomad. Hip Dot, I don't even remember which one this was. I think I remember the formula being kind of patchy. So I'm gonna head and say nah. Okay, CXC, I think this is like their original highlighter palette that they had. 
I know it's old, but I'm gonna hold on to it just because it's like a relic. <laughs> Ace Bute Blushed in Paradise. I just got this like less than a year ago, so we're gonna hold on to that. It's a really pretty, bl very pigmented blush palette too. Uh, Nomad Cosmetics. Uh, this is actually, I have the other one down at my aunt's already. This is one of the first things that they ever gifted me, so it has like a special sentimental value to me. Don't judge me. I'm keeping it. I'm probably not gonna use it because it is expired now, but... It's special. Leave me alone. <laughs> Okay, Mira Beauty Co. The Greed Palette. Oh, man. These greens were so good. I'm gonna hold on to that one. I loved Mira Beauty so much. Okay, Glam Light Chocolate Taco Lashes. I was really obsessed with these for a hot minute, but now my lash tastes have gotten a little bigger, so we're gonna... Eh. Oh, Lab Cosmetics Flashpoint Highlighter. I haven't seen this in forever. It is so gorgeous. Like, come on. I forgot all about this. I need to use this again. Okay, what is this? Okay, Revolution Cut Crease. I bought this because Rory always used this cut crease for his eye base, but this was the only shade they had it in, and I didn't realize that I was buying such a dark shade when I bought it, because I thought I had the light shade. But, uh, it's expired. It's gotta go. Okay. That's still in this package and everything. We're keeping that for sure. Uh, CoverGirl Simply Ageless. I'm pretty sure this is, like, when this first came out that I bought this. That's going away. Some old Stila eye shimmers. Those are also expired and going away. Oh my gosh, the Smashbox uh, double ended. Like, this was like supposed to be for highlighting and this is for contouring. I literally use this to where that is not coming out anymore. But never used the other side of the stick and I never bought another one. That can go away. That is definitely expired. Um. Oh, I think this actually was just unboxed in like the last couple of months when they did like a mystery box or something. So I'm gonna hold on to that for sure. Cream blush. I hate cream blush. And also like you can see, I got my contour like all up in it. So I kind of ruined that. <laughs> We're gonna throw that away. Big thing of loose glitters. I'm really not a fan of loose glitter. And I'm pretty sure I bought this like two years ago or so. I'm just gonna throw this away. Wild paint pot, but it's like almost out. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that away. Uh, NARS. Is this a blush? Yeah. That is a really pretty blush. Shade Orgasm. Um, I know that's probably expired though. I'm gonna throw that away. And the ColourPop Meant to Be palette. I remember I did a video uh, comparing this to the uh, e.l.f. mint, like, quad or whatever. It's still pretty, but I know it's expired, so I'm gonna throw it away. And some more CoverGirl that I bought when I first started the channel, like, wow, Maybelline fit me. I also think that's from, like, year one era. We're gonna throw that away. Um. Y'all, I found another relic. Um, this one, however, is disgusting and we're gonna throw it away. But do you remember the hold that the Tati Beauty little sponge thing had on all of us? Like we were all going nuts for this thing. And now it's a trend for people to use this for their foundation again and people are acting like it's a brand new thing. And I'm like, hello? <laughs> it's been around. Um, we are, we are getting there guys, we are getting there. Okay, so here's some Milk Kush Mascara. I don't know how old this is. I'm gonna throw that away. I have plenty of mascaras out and about. Um, Ofra Gone MUA Mini. I think, I don't know where I put the other one that goes in this. But I see an Ofra Mini sitting out right here. I know it's not the one that goes with this, but I'm gonna put it in here just so they're not flying around. We're gonna keep these because I just bought them. 
And speaking of Oufra, we have the Beverly Hills Highlight. So pretty. Keeping that for sure. Never say no to an Oprah highlighter. And milk and cookies. Definitely holding on to that one as well. We have Kimchi Thaler Glow. Very pretty highlighter. We're going to keep that. What's this? Okay. This is the Grace Blush, but honestly, it's kind of like a blush lighter. Like, it's a blush and a highlighter. Keeping that for sure. Pinky Rosé Blush from Kimchi. Definitely holding on to that. Can you tell that I love Kimchi blushes? We also have Mercedes. And I just knocked a whole bunch of stuff off. And again, keeping that. Okay, found some more brushes that probably need to be washed. Um, what is this? Okay, Lunar Beauty Sponge. I never even tried this, so I'm gonna hold on to that. I might, I might want that. And some more trash. We have a lip scrub with no label. I have no idea how old that is. We're gonna throw that out. I think this was like a sample of concealer or something. Okay, uh, Cara Beauty Sour Apple. This was actually one of my first purchases from them. Um, I think I'm gonna hold on to it. I, I think it's still okay, actually. I think I just bought that like maybe within the last year. Uh, CXC Warm Enchantment Mini. Of course that's going in. Hello. Um, Rare Beauty. Okay, so this was... I think, was this the one? I couldn't remember if I tried Selena's brand or Ariana's before, but I don't really like that it's all shimmers. I'm not into that. However, I do think I just got this like less than a year ago, so I'm gonna see if anybody at work wants this. Oh, we have the Trixie slash Kimchi collab highlighter. That's definitely still good. Um. Best Dressed Lids. I think I actually got this maybe in an ice cream box? I don't really remember this, though. It's not for me, but I'm going to see if anybody at work wants it, because I'm just not into neutrals, but a lot of people are, apparently. Uh, Delicious Delights. Definitely keeping this. Uh, this was just like a few months ago, although apparently I've dropped it and uh, there's been a catastrophe. And it had to be the purple. Really? The purple? Rude. Okay, well I'm gonna clean that up and we're gonna continue using that. And the You Can Be Athena face paint palette. Definitely need this during spooky season. Violet Voss Violet Sunset. I think this is definitely expired. I'm gonna throw that out. Nomad Harajuku loved this. I had so much fun with this palette. I'm definitely not getting rid of it, but I do think it is expired and I may not use it anymore. We'll see how. I, I may try it and like see how I react to it. Um, Nomad Shanghai. This is actually discontinued. It got pulled like days after it launched, but they'd already like shipped mine out to me, so I got it. But uh, fun fact, they actually... Uh, repurposed some of these shades in their Santa Paws palette and a lot of the proceeds went to a, an animal shelter so I'm glad that they were able to like make it work but it's such a pretty palette <laughs> okay so we got some more Mira Beauty this was Lust these pretty purples you know I'm keeping that and let's see this was Melancholia this actually just launched at like Christmas last year, so it's still within a year. I'm gonna go ahead and keep it. I might even do a look with it pretty soon. We'll see. Oh, Kiss My Glitter, another Dear Katie Brown. I'm gonna have to let that one go. This one may get me canceled off the internet. Like, just, y'all. I did not like this palette. I did not, the eyeshadow formula did not work for me. I am particularly struggled with this shade right here 
but um, I tried using some of the other shades and I still had some issues. So I did not like the Blends palette. I have not tried her eyeshadow formula since this palette because everyone raved about how it's the same great formula. And I was like, the formula wasn't great for me though, so I'm not gonna use it. No shade to uh, Blend Bunny. I just did not like the eyeshadow formula. Haven't had a chance to try the highlighter formula yet. But, or the liquid lips. I haven't tried the liquid lips either. I need to, but I just, I, everyone goes so berserk for the eyeshadow palettes from them. And I'm just like, no, they, it wasn't that great. I don't, I'm going to get canceled now. Okay. Extravaganza. Y'all already know we're keeping this one. I love this palette. Like, I want this yellow all over my body. I'm not giving this up. In my cold, dead hands, you might be able to pry it out of me. Okay, Mayflowers. Uh, they actually have Mayflowers and April Showers all in one palette now, but originally it came in two separate palettes like this. And apparently my white is crumbling, but very good palettes. I like April Showers is one of the best like purchases I made that entire year, so definitely not getting rid of these. Kimchi Holy Fairy Tale. I used this once and I had a lot of issues with some of these pastels and as you can see I think this got like stepped on or something at some point. Um, honestly, I was not a fan of this. I think I'm going to take that to work and see if anybody wants it because I just, well, I don't know because I wasn't a fan. It had issues. I'm going to throw it away. I know it's still good, it's just I didn't like how it performed. So I'm not going to give it away to people. Uh, CXC, was this Get Lucky or was it the other one? No, this is Luck Be a Lady. Definitely keeping her. As you can see, I didn't even take the mirror cover off. <laughs> like, I just jumped right in. Okay, Cosmic Brushes Serenity Palette. This is a really pretty palette. I think this is actually my first purchase on their eyeshadow formula and it is so bomb. They just leaked a gothic palette that is like mostly purple. You already know I'm getting it. Okay, another Spellbound Beauty. Definitely a winner, winner chicken dinner, but gotta go. It is expired. The brand owner doesn't even do makeup anymore. <laughs> Bye. Okay. The I Heart Revolution Elf collab. You guys, I was so excited about this. I love Elf. I quote the movie year round. I hated this palette. I did not like the eyeshadow formula at all. Haven't bought anything from I Heart Revolution since. And frankly, haven't bought anything from Makeup Revolution either because it's like the parent company. And I'm like, if this is crappy, what's the other formula like? You know what I mean? Like, I'm just, I'm scared to buy anything. Hey, Iconic London. I don't really remember how I felt about this or how old it is. So I'm probably just going to throw this away because I think it's got to be close to a year old, if not older. All right. Trixie and Kim Chi collab. I am not getting rid of this. So gorgeous. Definitely keeping her. Okay. That's, oh, wait, wait, wait. We still got some pellets on the desk. Uh, who are you? Celestial Thunder, Dominique Cosmetics. I know that this is over a year old. This is probably like two, almost three years old. We're going to throw her away. And then the Holy Grail. I think I talked about this in the last one. We're going to, we're going to keep that. Apparently I didn't put some of this stuff away because I'm a loser. Okay. Uh, Bottle Blonde, Trixie Cosmetics. Definitely keeping her. This purple. Oh, you guys. So good. I actually kind of want to do a look with that, but we're not doing makeup right now. We are putting makeup away right now. Stop it. All right. Uh, Bestie Balm from Trixie Cosmetics. I actually, not even sure if I opened this, so we're gonna, we're gonna keep that. My trusty Yensa Beauty Blender, we're keeping that. Hey, what was this one? I think this is the Nomad Morocco palette. Uh, definitely gonna keep that. Yeah, Marrakesh, the Marrakesh palette. That's what it was. 
Okay, now we are starting in on everything that is underneath. Um, we have Ofra X Francesca Talot. I don't know. I've never heard of her, but fun little palette. I think I got this like within a year ago, so I'm going to go ahead and keep that. The original Michaela palette. I know this is expired. I was so obsessed with this, and then all the problems started coming out about it, and like now Michaela's super sketchy, and I do not want to keep this at all. Ace Beauté Palette Opoly. Definitely keeping her. I still have like the box with all the like game stuff in it and stuff, so we're we're gonna keep that. I need to do maybe I'll do some like live streams on like TikTok or on here maybe where we like play Palette Opoly. That'll be fun. Okay, what do we have here? Clarity Cosmetics Evil Mermaid. I remember hating that eyeshadow formula, so we're not gonna keep that. Uh, we have the Nomad uh, Province palette. Definitely keeping her. And the Nomad Home for the Holidays palette. Like I said, uh, you can tell like this is the matte black and then all of the shimmers from the Shanghai palette. They just like repurposed it, and I'm so glad that they were able to. Okay. Kimchi, Two Queens, One Desert, Suit Yourself, Mad Maxine, keeping it. Love this palette. It's so good. Creative Soul Color Burst. I did not use this enough. It's a good palette. I, I remember liking the formula. And I think it's less than a year old, but honestly, I have so many rainbow palettes. I really don't need this. I'm gonna go ahead and give that one away. Dirty Martini Glam Light Palette. Um, I think this was actually the only one of the launch that I didn't have any issues with. But I think it's over a year old, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Okay. The Divine. This is a collab with Mira Beauty, and uh, I am blanking on the name, but the last name was Devereaux. <laughs> incredibly talented artist um really good formula i just didn't really use it because these colors just don't really call to me that much it would make a really good little fall palette though but i don't really need it i'm gonna see if anybody wants it i'm gonna give that away uh the graffiti palette from wicked artistry incredible palette unfortunately very old we're gonna get rid of it Oh, speaking of Mira Beauty, here's one of their first palettes. Um, this launched like over two years ago, so I'm going to get rid of it, but what a moment in time. This like got so much attention for them and they really took off and I was so proud of them. Speaking of a brand that I was an affiliate for and I am so proud of, here is my first ever purchase from CXC Beauty. I'm going to hold on to that just for like emotional sake, but I am not going to use this. They have launched like three green palettes since this like I, I don't need to use it but it was my first ever purchase of them and I just want to keep it for my own crazy purposes okay okay so we've got some more spellbound beauty like I said they had a killer formula and so I would buy every single launch loved them and this is the book of nightmares oh that neon I was so excited for that Great, great formula. Unfortunately, they closed shop though. Hey, okay, we got Cab Cosmetics. This is like a huge complexion one. It was a little too dark for me. And I'm pretty sure this is over a year old, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Kimchi Hollow Toppers, definitely keeping these. Sugar Pill Oh Honey Collab with Trixie Mattel. This blush is to die for. This is actually like a really good fall palette. I need to do a look at that. Okay, Rare Beauty. This is the one I remember hating. Yeah, I was so excited because it was like so many pretty purples, but like they were underpigmented. And I just ended up really hating the look that I did. So this is going in the trash. Okay, Lethal Cosmetics. I remember I went online and bought this because people raved about their formula and I don't think that I really like it was okay but there's similar formulas on the market that are way cheaper 
this was so expensive like i think it shipped from like germany crazy expensive shipping crazy expensive palette and honestly there's similar or better formulas on the market bh zodiac love signs this i know for a fact is a couple of years old so i'm gonna get rid of it along with the morphe sweet oasis palette oh my gosh you guys like their formula is forever all over the place and you never know which shades are going to be the crappy ones like even if you swatch them and they look okay go put them on your eyes and they're not like i bought like there for a while when i first started this channel i would buy one morphe palette a year just to see if the formula had gotten better and it never did so i stopped buying mini breaker palette oh this reminds me of like my first two videos where i was doing an eyeshadow look and i think i used this palette Definitely nostalgia for baby Lana, but we're getting rid of all the Jeffrey. Peachy Queen, we're all mad here. I was so excited for this palette. I always wanted my own Cheshire Cat. I thought he was the coolest. Um, this was a really good formula. I know this palette is old and expired, so I'm going to get rid of it. Too Faced Hot Buttered Rum Palette. This was a really cute, like, fall story, but... Um, don't support Too Faced, so we're gonna get rid of that. And I found a ColourPop Super Shock highlighter and some random glitter. Oh, from Royal Beauty Cosmetics. But I'm really not into loose glitters, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Another relic of times past. That's going straight in the trash can. And an Anastasia Glow Kit. I really loved their highlighters. Like, work but i don't support anastasia soray and her liking pro putin stuff so bye bye and hank and henry trash if you don't know why watch the first video glam light street taco palette i remember this it had like a really cool shimmer in it i think it was the guacamole that i was like obsessed with um, this is really old. I'm gonna get rid of it. And another original Mira Beauty one. <sighs> Tardiest Pro Remix. I think I actually really liked this palette, but um, it's expired, so I'm gonna get rid of it. But some of these colors were so, they're super blendable. Like, the blendability was there. Oh, the Jackie Ana collab with <sighs> Anastasia Beverly Hills. Honestly, this is like probably the last ABH palette that I bought and used. I loved it. Such a gorgeous palette and this packaging was uh, just ugh, so good. But this is expired and I'm gonna throw it away. TXE Vault of Olympus, definitely keeping her, although she got a little smashed. It's okay, it's okay. We're all good. Okay, the Citrine palette from last year, technically still good because like it's not November yet. <laughs> Such a gorgeous palette. And then we have the second Michaela palette, which was actually a really good formula. I remember I didn't have any issues with it that I can think of. Or wait, no, this was the original. The other one was the second. Okay, yeah. So this was the one that had all the issues. Definitely going in the trash. I am not sure which CXC palette this is actually, but it's a really pretty kind of, I think this is like maybe one of their winter palettes, but I don't remember how old it is. I think I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna throw away a CXC, guys. Shocker. Laura Geller Casual Collection Multi-Finish Eyeshadow Palette. Um, that is bland pudding, and I don't know how old this is, so we're gonna get rid of it. Violet Voss Essentials 2 and Essentials. Don't remember how old these are, but I guarantee you they're expired now. That's pretty. They're pretty, I'm giving that, but meh. Oh, the Boxy Charm eyeshadow palette. I remember actually really liking, like the Swipe Up glitter in particular. But uh, no, I know this is expired. That's going in the trash.
Brain freeze. Trash. Oh, the Frozen 2 palette from ColourPop. I know this is expired, so it's going in the trash, but that was a moment. Okay, BH Sweet Shop, keeping it. Gorgeous greens, gotta have it. Beauty Bay, this I actually, I don't think I ever did a look with this on camera. Oh, because this actually broke. Like, I don't wanna tilt it too much and that fall out, but uh, they actually gave me like a refund on this palette, so, but. I need to use this. I don't think I've even used it. The BH Iceland and Mykonos palette. I actually uh, remember these just launched like last fall. So these are actually about a year old. And they have a two year lifespan though. Do I keep them? I mean, I don't really feel like I need these though, but they're still good. So I'm gonna take them to see if anybody at work wants them. The wine palette from Glam Light. I remember having issues with patchiness in this one, actually, which made me very sad because it's purple. Oh, the Glam Light paint palettes. I really, these were so good. This titanium white shimmer, by the way. Oh, Chef's Kiss. I know these are expired, but like they were so. This was like Glam Light eyeshadow in its prime. I don't want to keep it just because it was so good. Same with this one, the ice cream palette. This was like the first purchase I made of Glam Light, and I was immediately obsessed with this eyeshadow formula. This is like two years old. What's the 18 months? Okay, so I know I probably shouldn't keep this. This is this is expired, but this was like top tier. Huh. See, the back of this doesn't even have like when it expires. But I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it. I probably shouldn't, but I'm gonna. Hank and Henry, trash. Okay, I think this is like one of the spring palettes from CXC Beauty. I'm gonna go ahead and keep that one because it's purple. I have a Fenty Beauty highlighter palette. I know this is expired. I think I got this like maybe my second year of doing YouTube. So this is like about two years old. I'm going to get rid of it. And the Trixie highlighter slash bronzer. This thing is massive. Um, definitely holding on to this. This is still good. Okay. I don't, I don't remember when I got this. I'm going to say this is probably expired. It needs to go. Okay, I think I'm actually running out of stuff that's like easily reachable. Everything else is like falling underneath the table. Tarte Dream Big. I think I actually wore this like several years ago, so this is expired. That's going to go away. And everything else is pretty much, I think, down there. <laughs> So that's what I'm going to call it quits, but I just have like a little bit more to go through and then I'm going to pack everything up and take it down to Aunt Judy's. And then we will set up filming down there, hopefully in time for me to have the ghoul ready with me filming for Friday. If not, then I'm sorry, but you're not going to see this until like much later. So if I didn't get the ghoul ready with me, this, this is why. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.